Hi guys, in this video I'm looking at the role of the pancreas in type 2 diabetes. Now, when we eat carbohydrates and it is broken down into sugar, it's broken down into glucose, um, that glucose is released into the bloodstream. When it is released into the bloodstream, the blood sugar level rises because it has all that sugar just, all that glucose just came in. So the blood sugar level rises. In response to this, the pancreas's beta cells produce hormone called insulin. And what insulin does is that it's the insulin is a regulator. It's like a key per se. It signals to the cells to open up and accept the glucose, to remove the glucose from the bloodstream. And when things are working as they ought to, it works just fine. It's the, um, the insulin signals the cells um, to receive this glucose from the bloodstream, which is done. And the cells use this this um, glucose as fuel it provides the fuel that the body needs um, it's not glucose um, sugar is not the only source of fuel but it's the body's main major major source of fuel and so this the, the this is this um, fuel is used for various body functions and um, what is the excess fuel is stored in liver cells, is stored in muscle cells, and also in fat cells um, as glycogen. And that is for future use when the body needs um, more energy, when the body needs more fuel. And so this is one aspect of how um, in um, pancreas and the insulin in this respect um, regulate blood sugar levels. Now the pancreas also um, has a role when blood sugar level has fallen. When blood sugar level has fallen and um, this is the um, pancreas's alpha cell releases a, um, the hormone glycogon and what glycogon does is that it signals particularly, um, especially the liver cells, to convert that stored glycogon, glycogen back into glucose and release it into the bloodstream so that the level of um, the blood sugar le level can increase, once again increase. Um, as the body needs the, um, the energy and the cells need the fuel. And so it's, it's like a yin-yang kind of relationship. Um, so the pancreas is very critical when it comes to regulating blood sugar levels. It regulates when the blood sugar level is um, high and it regulates when it has fallen um, lower than it ought to. And in particularly looking at um, in at insulin here because we're dealing with um, 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 high blood sugar um, whenever there is a problem that um, affects the beta cells um, production for example um, the ins for whatever reason you know the the, the pancreas is um, beta cell just aren't producing enough insulin to signal to the cells, then we have a problem because that means um, that we'll have higher levels of glucose in the blood because there's not enough insulin produced in order to signal the cells. And we could also have a situation where um, there is enough insulin and um, it's the, 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 the problem is that the insulin, the cells aren't receiving the, they are not receiving the signal 
from the insulin so there is a problem there and if they're not receiving that um, that um, signal then that means that the blood level that have um, risen you know the cells will not be able to take the blood from the cells because they're not getting the signal that hey you need to do you need to do this you need to take this glucose from the bloodstream you know they're not receiving it and so that is a problem and that's a problem for diabetics and that is a for diabetics and pre-diabetics and you know whenever there's a problem then that impacts the um pancreas where it is it is not able to or, or the, the, beta, the um, beta cells um, that produces the insulin in the pancreas aren't able to function as they ought to, then we have a problem that would lead to a situation um, we call diabetes. But as, as noted, pancreas' role is twofold. It regulates blood sugar level um, at all levels, high and low. So that's it, guys.